Hello, Western Oregon sports fans, and welcome to this recap edition of Wolves Weekly. Joining me again in studio today, head soccer coach Steve Anchetta. How are you doing, Steve? I'm good. Good to be here. Fantastic. Had a couple home matches last week, part of the big homecoming week celebration we had here at Western Oregon University. And I want to get to some of these matches you played against Central Washington and then against Seattle Pacific, the number one and number two team in the GNAC right now. But you guys, you and your team actually had a very special opportunity as well as Western Oregon did with Vicente Fox, former president of Mexico, being on campus this week. Well, that was great for us to just uh, meet with him and uh, we presented him with a soccer ball signed by all the players and uh, just a real privilege to meet him. It looks, as we're going to see a couple of clips right here, it looks like a special yeah, opportunity for both you and your players and everybody else really involved. I mean, it was a great thing over here at Western Oregon University and getting to present that soccer ball to him. I guess that's uh, you guys are the team representatives this week. We also have a little bit right here that we just want to pause with really quickly and get to hear your speech. Up All there. right. We're uh, very proud to be here and to represent the athletic program and the university. And uh, we know he loves football, probably, so uh, from his country land. And, uh, we love football too, so and, uh, we hopefully will enjoy that ball. And we gotta get ready for our game today at three o'clock, so we have to kind of sneak away, and hopefully someone kind of sneak out and watch us play later. But uh, <laughs> thank you for having us, and thank you for being with Muchas us. Gracias. All right. Pretty good speech up there. Made everybody <laughs> smile up there, Steve. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was a bit nervous, probably more than the games, I guess, uh, meeting the president like that. So. Well, let's go on and talk about the Central Washington team, a team that was kind of, even when we had the opportunity to talk to Taylor Thompson last week in studio, kind of felt like it was one of your rival teams and the one that you maybe had circled on the calendar there. Well, we were definitely looking forward to playing them again and uh, after we played them real hard up at their house. But, uh, you know, we just, uh, we just didn't get on track uh, fully through the, the full game. And, uh, you know, one sneaky goal. We played some real good stuff in the first half. And... Uh, Probably had a, should have had a goal, maybe, uh, but we didn't get one, and they snuck one with a couple minutes before half, and uh, took a little control of the game on us in the second half. So you guys did happen to fall on that one, two to one. Uh, Lashante Horton came up with the goal for you guys, and then we, you guys went over, well, actually stayed at home and got to play Seattle Pacific, and talk about a couple goals sneaking in there. Feels like they were all quick touches. Well, I tell you, you know, you just can't take a break when you play a top top quality player uh, team. I'm sorry, uh, top ten in the in America, and. Uh, you know, we had a couple little miscues, and uh, they cost us. And uh, you know that you're, it's hard to get back into the game. They're not going to give you lots of opportunities. But I thought we played real hard uh, throughout the whole match and uh, gave them a heck of a game overall. So I'm going to ask you about one of those coaching cliches you always hear out there. Do you feel then that your team can win, can learn more in a loss than they can in a win? Yeah, you know, you, you always can learn from a loss in a, in, in, as a player and as coaches. And, uh, but uh, no loss is a good loss for us. But uh, we take a lot of things back. Uh, again, playing a quality opponent and uh, moving in the right direction for our next training sessions and uh, our next opponents coming up. Well, fantastic. We'll get to hear about those opponents coming up here pretty soon. You guys will be on the road again this next week for your final road trip of the year. You guys will go to Simon Fraser and then have the opportunity to play at Western Washington. We'll make sure to talk to you a little bit more in detail about all these matches on the preview edition of Wolves Weekly coming up a little later in the week. Just want to say thank you to everyone for watching this edition of Wolves Weekly.